Hey everyone, I just got back from Aldi. I bought something new to hack. It was a new special buy that came out today. I've never been to Aldi before in the morning of a special buy release and it was pandemonium. Never doing it again. Anyway, let's find out what I got. It is an Aldi toaster oven. Woohoo! It's 14 litres, so it's a bit smaller than my current oven. And it's 1400 watts, so it's a little bit more powerful than my current oven. But what I don't know is how many elements are inside, because you can't tell from the pictures. And I wasn't able to open one up when I was down there. So why have I got another toaster oven? So my current oven was connected to my Reflow Master. And I use that to reflow as well as to work on firmware and stuff for the Reflow Master. There's no point hacking firmware and not being able to test it. So though I have pulled that apart to be able to connect the Reflow Master Pro for the time being, my Pro uses two thermocouples and can control two fans, but this particular oven only has one thermocouple in it and one fan, and I don't want to hack this oven to be able to test and get the Reflow Master Pro working and then have an oven I can't use for my Reflow Master. So, this oven to the rescue. This will be my Reflow Master Pro oven. Okay, it's time to open this up. See what's inside. Ooh, nicely packaged. That is always such a terrible thing to do on video. Not recommended with one person. It's much bigger than I thought it would be. Much, much bigger. Number of elements. Four. Bingo. Echo. Echo. Wow, that's crazy. So this is quite large compared to my existing oven. Much taller, but also nowhere near as deep. It's got that uh, new polystyrene smell. So it comes with a bunch of trays and I assume a manual or something. Trays and manuals, I don't need the trays. I'm not gonna be using these. But I will be using this. Okay, that's not too bad. What is the seal like? There's rubber seal. It seems. No, little stoppers. Little stoppers here, so there's going to be heat escaping through the sides here. But that might be okay. Now, we need to open this up and see what's inside. See how much space there is in the cavity here and have a look at what the electronics looks like. That is called tamper-proof. So as you can see, there's very little in here. Quite a large cavity though, which is pretty good. Uh, it's much wider than what I've got in my other oven. So my plan with this is to obviously inline the SSR directly into here, like I did in my other oven, to cut the hole over here for an exhaust to come through here and out the back. As you can see, there's the... Uh, pointing down grill type scenario here. If I'm going to push air in, I'm going to have to get rid of this. Otherwise, I could pull air out. But I also want to put a fan inside, but not inside. So the idea would be to, again, cut a hole or drill some holes in here to make like a, a bit of a, a grid of holes. I'm going to get leakage coming through from that, 
but with the cover on the outside that also has the same type of pointy down grill, I could then attach a fan on the outside and so I could blow air on this side in and pull air on this side out through the two fans with the Reflow Master Pro. So all in all, for $39 from Aldi, this oven is pretty good. I'm going to bypass all of these here, except for the on. This will always be on up and down, and the temperature will always be on full. It says 250 degrees here, I really don't know how hot it can get, and I don't know how fast it can get to 250, but I don't reflow that high in my toaster ovens. I use my T962A to reflow higher temp stuff. So in here, I only need it to get to about 165 to 175 degrees. And maybe if I do a medium temp paste, like 187 degree paste, then I need to go to about 220. Now the way I'm going to build the air exhaust in here is going to be quite different to how I did it in my other oven. I'm going to use the same technique from this to replace the PETG exhaust pipe that's in my other oven as well, and I'll do that in a future video. So that's it for today. This is the oven I'm going to hack and get my Reflow Master Pro working in. It's really flimsy. Really, really thin metal. Um, I'm quite surprised actually. It's, uh, it's got no rigidity and the cover is also quite thin. Uh, way less durable than my old oven and my old oven was also the same price. So uh, I'm really curious to see how much leakage I get from here, how well it holds the, the thermals in. And we won't know until I've got it up and running. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe. Click the alarm bell to be notified when I've got new videos coming out, especially the next video in this series. To all my patrons, thanks very much. You're awesome. I really appreciate your generosity. Until next time, catch you later. Bye.